Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, y'all. Welcome, welcome to this place I call the mental house. And y'all might wonder why you call a program the mental house. Because first of all, we need to deal with our mentals. And if we don't, if we don't, then we're adding to the insane asylum without walls that is called, you know, basically the world, especially America, where we have children, where we breed criminal children as well. We give them all kinds of psycho... Never mind. Let me, don't let me get ahead of the story. A lot of y'all have called and asked me about an update. And, um, you know, like what happened to the 10-year-old who, you know, uh, unalived his mother over the VR headset. Well, I'm going to bring you something because I was kind of waiting until, you know, there was some update or he returned to court and I had something to report. So what it says is um, he was in a court on Friday and uh, he's now 11. And um, Judge Jane Carroll heard witnesses testimony from both the prosecution and defense about whether the boy who was 10 years old at the time of the crime is competent enough to stand trial as an adult. The um, WISN News is not naming or showing a boy, of course, due to the court order. The prosecution charged the boy with first-degree intentional homicide in the death of his 44-year-old mother, Kiana Mann, at their home on 87th and Hemlock. And according to the criminal complaint, the fourth grader shot his mom, upset that she would not buy him a virtual reality headset. In February, the judge ruled that the boy was fit to stand trial as an adult based on a competency report from the state. But the defense challenged that ruling and hired their own psychologist to conduct a competency exam. The findings of each competency exam were pre presented in front of the judge on Friday. Uh, the prosecution's witness, Dr. Karen Gus Bray, again found the boy to be competent after conducting a second exam in April 23, 2023. However, the defense's witness, Dr. Antoinette Cavanaugh, a forensic clinical psychologist from Chicago found that he was not competent to stand trial as an adult. She added that she doesn't believe he would be competent enough to stand trial in a year from now either. So the court ran out of time Friday to make a final decision. A follow-up hearing to finish the proceedings was scheduled for July 26 at uh, 1 30 uh, p.m. The family members of the victim showed up in person, but did not talk on camera. They said they just want an answer on how this case will proceed. The boy did not speak during the court appearance, and both the prosecution and defense declined to comment afterwards. Um, it is... It is um, very mind-blowing how this little guy callously um, eliminated his mother and then the lies that he told uh, to cover up his behavior to me is, um, is just unacceptable. 
And I don't think he should be tried. I, well, I don't. I don't. I don't know if I should. I would try him as an adult because putting an eleven year old. He just turned eleven in jail with a bunch of grown men is insane, and it's insanity. Um, but I would make sure he gets all the time that he was sentenced to at a adolescent treatment center first uh, to juvenile corrections and let that house him until he get of age where he can go to a facility um, with men. That, that would be what I, w I would hope happens to him. His grandmother can't even talk to him yet or about him yet because he killed her daughter. And you can't blame him. I mean, you can't blame her, not one bit. Um, this is one of the saddest stories that happened in Milwaukee this, this, you know, last year. One of the saddest things. No family should have to go through anything like this. My condolences go to out to the man family again. And, um, yeah, what y'all think about it? Because I might be a little too close to the situation. I want to know, what do y'all think? you think this kid should be charged as an adult? Do you think he should be charged as a child? Um... A juvenile, well, he's 11. He just turned 11, I think, last month or two months ago. Or do you think he should be tried as an adult, housed with adults, and that's just the end of the story? Let me know what you think. Uh, I'm very curious to know. And um, I'll see you in the next video. If you like what you hear, please subscribe and share the channel. And, uh, Huh. I'll see you in the next video.